Hey, what a wonderful sound. Let's uh, get away from that for a moment. Uh, hey, I'm the Serious JG. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Lennis 2. Um, I'm still not sure about this potentate Petro fella. I mean, you know, call me um, call me a worrywart, call me uh, paranoid. But, uh, you know, he sent us out to gather the, the seals. I suppose, yeah, if he, if he was evil, he would have just taken them from us and then been like, Mwah! But, uh, you know, it's still possible that these guys, I mean, he appeared crucified, like, you know, thank you, Japan, for once again just uh, using crucifixion imagery, uh, you know, willy-nilly. But, uh, yeah, he appeared, uh, and uh, those guys were, like, you know, claiming that they were, like, killing him and shit, but, hey, they could all be in cahoots. It could have been a trick. I don't know, but either way, we got to fight some really goofy-looking machines. Let's get to it! Maybe we get an, finally get a freaking airship when uh, we defeat these things. I shouldn't say finally. The game hasn't been that long. You know, I haven't tried her fists of anger yet, but I think they're weaker because I think they'd been in my inventory for a while and I hadn't really noticed them. Yeah, considerably weaker. Unless these things have really high defense, which could be the case. Wow. Could take uh, quite a while if you've got to do a ton of damage to all of them. Oh, I'd better finish them off one at a time. I was thinking I could uh, play games with the, using the old uh, Gubo to like simultaneously weaken them so that if I used my big individual attacks on different targets, they'd all die at about the same time. But now I probably wanted to start f trying to finish off one at a time to, to get it done, you know? Once again, they probably all have different elemental weaknesses, and I just can't be bothered. Gubo! Gubo will, according to the fact I checked out, because yes, I... I'm not playing this like super hardcore blind completely. I am referring to facts periodically. For for you know, information on mercenaries and stuff. But yeah, apparently Gubo is just, like the best spell in the game until very near the end of the game it kicks everything's ass. Yay! That was a pretty significant step forward there. Not much of an attack you guys are launching, I must say, but I guess Ferris would be having some trouble if he was by himself here. Yay, once again, this fight that's probably supposed to be kind of tough at the beginning that gets easier as it goes, just kind of started out not that tough and has continued along in much the same way. We're getting close to the point where Gubo doesn't make that much sense because it targets everything on screen with massive damage and there's only two people left on screen. Hey, I mean, the strategy's been working. Why change it? beat the crap out of it now. Oh, it's got really good physical defense, though. Oh, well, it can't really hurt us any. Just for the hell of it, let's use bottle. But this will be the last turn. 
almost positive about that. I guess it could survive the charm, but nope. Had another attack left from Sir Ferris to go, too. Hey, Jenka leveled up. Jenka, Jenka, J -j -j Jenka. No spirits acquired? That sucks. Hey, now we got a thingy. Yeah, okay. Fine, thank you, game. I really, the, the little health uh, option there is really neat. Saves a lot of time uh, as far as um, leveling or uh, healing up your dude, so kudos to the game designers for that. Or not, I don't think that was part of the original game. It seems like that might have been something the. Uh, maybe it was part of the original game. Maybe it's something the translators added. But there's a hidden warp pod, and there's another cult. Oh, Sir Ferris, are you alright? I received a secret message from Potente Petro. Do you want to hear what the Potente told me? <laughs> no, I don't give a shit. I see. But don't forget about the Castle Revolution in Media. The one who's waiting for you there with Media? Hold on. Yes. He, he, he needs you, Ferris. I'm supposed to tell you the Media is waiting in the Castles of Illusions. Potente Petro also said if anything happened to him, you were our only hope. That was his basic message. I don't understand, though. I have not heard of these Castle of Illusions, nor do I have a clue who Midia is. Well, that's because you never played the Paladin's Quest, buddy. You and your people should venture... Oh, you and your people should venture out more. Man, what did that... You and your people should venture out more. Go see the play in Gloucester's Theatre District sometime. Wow, Ferris is kind of a wise-ass. Hmm, well, be that as it may, all I can tell you is that an expansive desert lies just to the west of here. Perhaps more answers may be found inside or even beyond that arid region. So, this, like, big machine I went through is just, just a generic dungeon. Oh, are you alright? Okay. So, yeah, it's just a generic dungeon. doesn't really connect with anything. Oh, Ferris, oh, Ferris, what? You lost the seals? You must get them back, you dumbass. Oh, Ferris, oh, Ferris, yeah, uh, San Felipe, oh, San Felo, four angels of the Great Union, wow. Actor Rigan, somebody actually referred to as the Actor Rigan? What the hell does that mean? That's the incarnation of the ultimate evil that plagues Riga itself. Oh, oops. What would become of Nigel if Ponte Pedro dies? Why do I talk like Slowpoke Rodriguez? So now I can never get back into there? What the hell? I seem to be trapped outside of that city forever now. Oh well. Oh, are you the person who was coming from Nigel? We heard coming from Nigel? This is the desert town of San Felo. This is the desert town of San Francisco. We got uh, cross dressers and homosexuals and. Uh, Alcatraz and uh, Rice Roni. <laughs> I've seen a castle floating out of the. Whatever. You know, I've been through the floating desert in a burning castle with no name. I kid you not, I've seen it from my own window. On its ramparts are the most amazingly beautiful woman I've ever beheld. You would think I'm crazy. You would think I'm crazy, but I got diamonds in the soles of my shoes. That's one way to lose these walking blues. <laughs> diamonds in the soles of my shoes. I got an earth cut. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> and slimy sweat. My voice is going. I mean, I haven't recorded that much today. Let's turn around all this crap that I really need to just get rid of. Where the hell does the slimy sweat end up? Ah, here we go. Sir Ferris is pretty much the coolest dude ever. He's the uh, actor Rigan, after all. I mean, it makes sense. He's evil incarnate or whatever. Do you know about the desert's hot air? Nope. If you try to cross the desert, be the lookout for a floating mirage castle that we call the Cast of Illusions. 
It's some kind of illusion. The cat's illusion spins so rapidly, no matter how fast you run, you can never catch it. It also flies so high, it makes no difference how far you jump, you can never reach it. We stole the idea from uh, Breath of Fire 1. I mean, but if you could find a Garen, you might be able to find some special way to enter the mystical place. I know about the desert's hot air. I'm f living in fucking Afghanistan. Really? Dick. Hey, new uh, mercenaries. Have you been to El Gemini? No. El Gemini is the home of odd animals called Jarens. The native people there have domesticated in the service basic transportation, but they absolutely refuse to sell Jarens to outsiders. Ah, if only I could obtain a Jaren for my desert journeys. Yes, I have. Didn't you find it full of weirdo types? Ha ha ha. Racist. We are in the throes of recession. Even our barter economy is hard pressed. By the way, have you visited the Temple of Sky Spirit? If not, travel south. Fortunate earthquakes have opened a huge crack that is blocking the path, but a Jaren might be able to jump over it. So, Jarens, that's what you're saying. Huh? Earthquakes? Yeah, something was exploded underground. Oh, I was just joking. Joking. Ho ho. Zany. These earthquakes are blah blah blah. Major destruction is heading our way. It's going to be awesome. Alright, so let's, um. It looks like it's time to get rid of some mercenaries and get some new ones so that I can have all the mercenaries in my party at some point. Uh. So let us go. Party. Pizza party. I went to a lot of trouble to keep Nikita around, so I'm gonna get rid of the others. Let's just uh, remove Iris' stuff. And release her, and let her love again. Oh, Ferris, you're leaving Iris here. She'll be so lonely. I want to go back to the city that has people and not sand. Understandable, baby, but it's not happening. Hey, it's lovey gal. Scott and I are of one flesh. Ooh. Okay, we will stay together till death. If you want to hire us, it'll cost you 2,000 gold for the complete set. I leave the physical fighting to Gan. I fight with spells. Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. What kind of magic she got? She's got a uh, gubo. That's always nice. Attack up. Speed up. The up spells probably aren't all that useful, I would imagine. We don't have enough room for them both right now. First, not quite lovely services. Hey, I found some more slimy sweat. Should be the exact same place as the last one because I haven't uh, changed my items around. Do 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 do. Ba -da 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 -da. <coughs> Come. Apparently, it's not at the same place as the last one. I must have gotten another item. Jenga, 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 Jenga. Ah, oh, shit! My tool bag is full. Well, I gotta get rid of some of this crap. Or maybe I just need to sort. No, it looks like I gotta start getting rid of some of this crap. Probably want to do that off camera, really, but for right now. Shit, I want to sell stuff. I'll have to come back later and talk to them, but for right now. Yeah, they don't sell for very much money. That's why I was. I really wish you could stack these things. Could just jump them off on mercenaries as soon as I find mercenaries that have. See, I could have sold this for more to that one guy. Oh, I didn't actually mean to do that. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, looks like I gotta do some off screen work to get my inventory straightened out. I'm holding on to all the cards so that when I get mercenaries near the end of the game that I'm going to keep, I can max out their spells, like, immediately. But, um, it ain't really working out for me. Do, 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 
Frustrating. Anyway, folks, um, off screen, I got to do some some housekeeping to get my inventory in order. Uh, so I'll take care of that. Uh, when we come back, though, we'll be in a new town, uh, looking to get some new blood for our party, and um, hopefully um, figuring out just what the hell is going on with the story. Thanks for watching, folks, and remember, don't mess with the actor Reagan. He's a force of incredible evil power. Bye bye.